I recently shared this behind the scenes tutorial where I took you into the studio and showed you how I set up the lighting for this product image. So today I want to show you how I gave it this beautiful gradient background in Photoshop. All right, so I thought really quick, I would just show you guys a quick rundown of the basic Lightroom edits that I made here. I really just made some adjustments to the highlights and shadows mainly here. You can see I brought my shadows up all the way. We added a little bit of texture, clarity, and vibrance. And then I also came down to the tone curve section here and just further refined those highlights and shadows a little bit. So I think the last thing I want to do here is just let's adjust our temperature a little bit. I think I want to warm this up just a touch. Yep, that looks pretty good. And then let's bring our tint down towards the greens just a little bit. Maybe warm it up. And I think after that, I'd like to add a little bit more vibrance to really make that packaging pop. Yep, that looks great. So next, what we want to do here is just right click on our image. We're going to go to edit in and then Adobe Photoshop. Okay, so here we are in Photoshop and I actually just finished going through and just kind of doing some spot healing to remove any dust and scratches on our product here, as well as smoothing out some of the skin and nails. And so now the next thing that we want to do is create a selection around our product and the hand so that we can separate it from the current background. So the first thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna come on over to layer and just go to flatten image because I don't need those spot healing adjustments anymore. And then we wanna make a selection around the subject. So I'm gonna be using the pen tool to do this, but you could also use a couple different tools depending on the edges and the shapes of the objects in your image. If you have a lot of straight edges, you could give the polygonal lasso tool a try. You could also come on into the quick selection tool and see how that works as well. I'm just going to be using the pen tool because it's going to be the most accurate and precise with the curves and the straight edges. So let's go ahead and zoom in nice and close here and then I'm just going to start making a selection right around our edges. And as I'm doing this, I just want to make sure that I'm clicking slightly inside the edge of the product. This way we're not including any of this purple background in our selection when we go to replace that background. All ready to go now with our subject selected. So what I'm gonna do now is I'm going to right click and go to make selection, click okay. And then once you do that, you'll see these marching ants appear around your selection. So now we just want to mask it and put it onto a separate layer. So to do that, we're gonna come up here to select and then go to select and mask. And you can also see the keyboard shortcut here as well for that. So this is going to open up the properties window and you can make some adjustments here. I usually just like to do a little bit of smoothing on my edges and then I really just leave the rest of these as is. We're going to output it to a new layer and then click OK. So now we can see our subject is completely separate from our background. We have nice clean edges here and then if we come back over here and turn the background layer on, we can see that purple backdrop again. Let's go ahead and add a new layer in between our two layers here so that we can keep our gradient separate from our original image. And then make sure that your gradient tool is selected over here on the left hand side and then go ahead and click up inside of this gradient area right here. This is going to bring up our gradient editor dialog and this is essentially where you're going to select which colors you want to appear for your gradient. So all you have to do is double click within these bottom boxes here and then the color picker will appear right here. We have our eyedropper tool ready to go and we can go ahead and start selecting colors. So click okay there and then let's change this one to, let's go with this nice orange color click OK. And then say you want to add a third color. If you hover over this edge here and you see your cursor turn into the little hand icon, if you just click, it's going to add a third stop. So go ahead and cl double click in there and we can add as many colors as we'd like. I think I'm going to go with this shade of magenta. 
And then you can also use these sliders to kind of affect how you want each color to fade into the next one. I think I'm just gonna leave this as is for right now. And then let's click okay to see how this is looking. So then just double check over here to make sure you still have your gradient tool selected. And then all we're going to do is click anywhere in the image and then we can drag out in any direction. So I'm just gonna go to the right here and we can see this created kind of this vertical gradient. If we undo that, let's drag it up. And we can see now the gradient looks a little more horizontal. So from here, it's really just a matter of how you want the gradient to look, how you want the colors to line up with your product. And you can also play around with how far out you're dragging the gradient. So if we just do it a little bit here, you can see the colors are a little more intense and they run into each other. If we make it larger and drag out further, the transitions into each color are just a little more gradual. Personally, I think I prefer the diagonal gradient here. I think that just works really nicely with the colors. And I think I actually like how the purple lines up with the purple. Oranges are down here. I think that looks really nice. So then one final touch that I would like to make just to make this kind of pop off of the image a little bit more. Let's add a new layer above this one. And then I'm gonna come over to my brush tool. I'm gonna make sure my foreground is set to white. And then let's make our brush a little bit bigger and we're just going to add a nice glow behind our product there and then you can come up here to adjust the opacity you can also play with the opacity with your brush up here so if i were to undo that change this to a hundred percent and then add that back in again we can see that's a little overkill so if you just come on over here to opacity you can kind of play around with that until it looks a little more natural but that is it for this one guys i'm probably just going to go through and maybe brighten up these shadows a little bit more maybe smooth out the hand but as you can see that was super easy to do all we had to do was separate our subject from the background and then you can kind of play with the gradient from there depending on your product or how you want it to look uh, but if you missed the in studio tutorial on how we shot this image. I'll be sure to link that below, uh, but otherwise I'll see you guys in the next video.